Hello YouTube! I modified my IKEA table. It was originally a straight table, but I made it into a corner table so I can fit both my PC and my piano on it. But this video isn't about this desk, but rather a couch table. I needed one that could slide on top of the couch without hitting the couch's footrest. A nice bonus will be that I'll be able to play Go on it. These will be the legs of the new table. First let's put a nice white coat of paint on them. I chose white because I have white paint. This is how the board looked like when I bought it from the flea market. It was just a random shelf board and it cost me 2 euros. And this is how the board looks like now. I measured the width of one of these go stones and drew lines on the board with a knife and a sharpie. It was pretty laborious and took me 4 hours to get them all straight. The table looks pretty good right now. It will look even better after I've given it a new coat of varnish. Let's go back to the legs of the table. I decided to use wooden dowels to attach the table to the legs. It's always a good idea to fasten what you are working on. After that I can measure the holes I will drill in the legs. If the holes are too wide the dowels won't grip. If they are too narrow I can't get the dowels in the holes. If the holes are too deep the dowels will completely sink in the holes. And if they are too shallow I will get a gap between the legs and the table. I don't need to measure the exact positions of these holes, because I will mark these locations on the table. Please don't try this at home. I am a self-proclaimed expert, and I still whacked my finger once. To make the table sturdier, I use angled brackets. This also puts the legs in a 90 degree angle. Always use torque screws if you want to get something done. This is the part that needs to be exactly on point. I'm using a very sharp file to mark the points of the holes. Count the legs like a $10 whack-a-mole game. Next up, two coats of varnish. I like to keep my brush in the varnish can, that way I never have to clean it. Stress testing. On the left we have a cheap IKEA table. Seems like this table can withstand 12 kilograms of ice cream just fine. 